Hey, what's going on everybody? Uh, today um, we're going to be changing the tip out on a 12.9 Predator Revo. This is actually one of the, the first generation Revos that came out a couple years back. Uh, the, the customer has an old school Tiger Everest on here. Um, we're going to install, install a new one. So there's a couple things that you're going to need. You're going to need vinyl tape razor blades, 1500 and 2000 grit sandpaper, and then of course, um, water, beeswax, and burnisher. Uh, let's get started, because I'm sure some of you guys have some questions. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna machine off the old tip, but I'm gonna be very careful um, to not to remove any of the red VTEC silencing pad till it's time. I'm very close to the pad at this point. My machine has digital readers. So I'm gonna be just very, very careful to shave off one thousandth at a time. We're almost there, but not quite. We're gonna go in another thousandth. Still not there. Another thousandth. All right, the pad's exposed. There's still some glue. Just by feeling and by looking at it, we're gonna go in one more thousandth. and I'm gonna touch the surface with some 150 grit. Now I'm gonna take the tip and with the same 150 grit, I'm gonna scuff the bottom. a good fit. Now we're going to take our vinyl tape. Now 
Now we're going to glue for this. I like to use Loctite super glue gel. But first, I'm actually going to put my lock in place. Let's apply a little glue here. Some people use a centering tool. I I depending on what I'm putting on sometimes I use them but it's it's not a requirement all right we're gonna wipe the excess glue this is why that tape is so important you you don't want to get any any glue on the carbon because it'll be murder to get off and you really don't want to take any paint thinners or acetone to it because it could it'll compromise the carbon it'll actually eat away at it depending on the grade these revos are built really well they don't use cheap material um, but other ones just be careful um, what chemicals you actually take to it so uh, we're gonna let it dry and we'll be right back all right welcome back guys um, I'm gonna get ready to trim here remove my my lock. All right, let's lock her in place and we're ready to rock and roll. All right, I mentioned water, water and lots of it. Lots of it. We're gonna remove this, the vinyl tape. Yeah. There we go. And let's do it. Nice and slow. We're just gonna take a, a, a certain amount of swipes because we're gonna really use a, a razor blade for the majority of the cutting. Now for the rest, I'm just gonna trim it with the razor blade. Some people will just trim with the razor blade from the get-go. They won't use a cutting tool. You do have to do that for certain tips. Um, these, I like to cut them a little bit because if you go to freehand it real quick, the razor blade could catch. Um, and these, trust me, you don't want to be on the receiving end of that. Uh, my fingers are already all scarred up. But yeah, let's uh, wet the tip up some more and uh, let's trim. This is actually a, for a real good customer of mine. I mean, this tip, I can tell you, he changes his tips out pretty regularly and it's, he's still on the original pad. And by the looks of the pad, I'm gonna be able to change this tip out another 20 plus times before we even think about changing it. And I have the red VTEC pads in stock in case somebody were to mess up.
Beautiful. More water. And uh, we're going to shape. More water. One of the good things I like about tiger tips, I mean the way the, the leather just ribbons out, um, you know it's a good piece of leather. We're going to pretty much do a cleanup cut, one or two of them. block here just to scuff it up, get it ready. And this is 120 that I put on here by the way. Yeah, that's, that's good right there. Now we're gonna take some 1500 grit. And this, you can actually go on the red pad and the black vault plate. You're not gonna do anything to it. You're not gonna sand it away and don't freak out when you see an installer take 1500 grit to the black vault plate they're not they're not taking anything off of it <laughs> then the same thing with some 2000 grit The Tiger Burnisher is always a must for any type of tip you put on. Um, any company, Kamui, How, um, Mez Tips, um, I love this stuff. You put it on. Give the tip a little burnish and some beeswax. This will keep it all from mushrooming as well. I mean, these tips, they, 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 don't, they don't really mushroom and I'm pretty hard on my equipment. All right. Give it a nice nickel shape, which is what the customer likes. And uh, that's it. That's how you 
change the tip on a Predator Revo. Thanks a lot, guys. Peace.